Okay. A Moose That Says Moo by Jennifer Hamburg. And pictures by Sue Truesdell. I love the pictures. They're so cute. Okay. If I were allowed to invent my own zoo, the first thing I'd have is a moose that said moo. Next would come sharks that would read book after book. An ox would serve eggs as a short order cook. The bears would drive cars. The skunks would jump rope. The sheep would take baths full of bubbles and soap. The zebra would put on a dress and a cape. Wear really tall shoes and then dance with an ape. The tigers would swing among leafy green trees and lazily lounge in the warm summer breeze. Looks like they're making macaroni. And then they would bake macaroni and cheese and say, pardon me, but I think I might sneeze. They were making macaroni. And how would the animals celebrate night? with PJs and milk and a zoo pillow fight. Feathers would flit, feathers would float, feathers would wake up a sound asleep goat. Where's the goat? Oh, right there. There for the party. The goat would get mad and throw handfuls of dough, interrupting a tap dancing singing pig show. He's throwing flink. There's the dough right there. And there's the dough. The pigs, quite surprised at this turn of events, would scamper and squeal and knock over a fence. The fence would crash into an all-duck jazz band. And this is where things would get way out of hand. Pig went into a drum. The goose would spill juice. The snakes would all yelp. The cheetah would pick up the phone and say, Help! Otters would oink. Chipmunks would chirp. Rabbits would ribbit and hiccup and burp. The turtle would trip and land in a pie while trying to calm a hysterical fly. Flump. There's the fly up there. Fish would grab crayons and draw squiggly lines. Groundhogs would rally and wave protest signs. It says more pie, bigger slice of pie. Bears have our share, no fair. We deserve a bigger slice. Look at the bear is eating all the pies. Looking around, I would quickly assess this zoo that I grew was a zoo-rific mess. So poof, I'd take back the juice from the goose, the dough from the goat, and the moo from the moose. And knowing that everything needed to change, I'd fix all the other things silly and strange. And then I'd vow never to do that again. Until I considered a juggling hen. She has a good imagination, huh? Yep, the end. Wasn't that cute?